you know this is why I love your video you have a great family and you raise your kids from what I see in the one video to be not stupid I'm not gonna say the smartest kids because I don't know your kids but I know from seeing them in the back of that video they are not stupid kids um I appreciate the fact that you can work with people of color there are a lot of people in my lifetime not you have told me you know I can't work for a black man there's Mexicans told me I can't work for black people there's white people who tell me I can't work for black people and there's black people that tell me they can't work for black people I'm glad to see an older man of the opposite race or a different race with not just respect for my people but respect for every people and like I was saying to the other young guys I see attached to some of your videos and I, I tried to do a video and, and the video reply was not meant for you but it was meant for him because he had said something like uh, you shouldn't have disrespected Hillary fuck Hillary fuck Barack fuck uh, McCain so um he said you shouldn't have disrespected Hillary and basically he had the long beard and I applied a stereotype to him and I said you have a soft spoken voice you don't appear how you look. His reply was to your video reply to my video. And in saying so, either he was agreeing with me that a lot of white people in the United States of America can't see Barack Obama. And it's not like you can't see him with your eyes, because you can't see him with your eyes. You can't see him as your leader because he does not represent you nor look like you. Not all people, white people, can listen to a black person. I work with this one lady, and when I talk about my vacations and places I go, she's irritated and the last time I went on vacation she's like how did you get to go who let you go um God lets me go and you know how I feel about God so for her to be disappointed in the fact that I can go places that she can't go to or whatever sort of hurts me and of course you think she's just mad because I'm black and she ain't black and a black man can go get on airplanes and a black man can do this and this old white lady is struggling well it's not like that it's not about that but I did feel like you know she don't like me because I'm black and I can go anywhere I want to go but that whole frame of mind and thinking is not me me and you get along real good and the problem with me and you is you're where you're at and I'm where I'm at <laughs> that's the only problem that I have with you and like I said in this one video that you can tell when people have been around people of color you can hear it in their voice you can see it in their mannerism because a white guy with no black friends I ain't gonna say ain't got no soul I ain't got no, you can tell when a person hasn't been around the other people the other people you know how, how they say chicken is the white meat pork is the other white meat um, black people are one meat and white people the other meat so I'm just gonna say the other people and um, some people can't see it there's some black people out there who can't work for white people there are Mexicans out there who can't work for blacks but in my lifetime man and in my experience, there has been a hell of a lot more white people that won't listen to black people. 
I'm not saying listen to me because I'm smarter or listen to this guy because he knows more than you. I'm just saying listen to me because I listen to you. Um, there's not too many white people that will listen to people of color. In my perspective, in my lifetime. And I know you have met some black people looked at you and turned up their nose like they don't give a fuck whether you can breathe or not and you probably have actually met some black people that will tell you hey you know I don't give a fuck whether you can breathe or not because I have met white people that have done that a friend of mine says I'm extremely racist this is a white guy you fucking racist, dude. You're a fucking racist. And I am a racist. I am a racist. I, I don't like stupid. Stupid black people. Stupid white people. Stupid Mexican people. Stupid whatever. I don't like stupid people. Dumb people. Ignorant people. I don't like stupid people. And I am a stupid person too. The thing is, with hate, racist bigotry and all the shit we go through is perception everybody looks at you and assume you are what you look like and when I say Barack Obama can't do this or this and that and I'm going to tube these people and I'm going to tube these people it's because I am I'm going to tube people I'm going to tube everybody I'm going to, I'm going to have my tube just the tube here and I'm just going to tube everybody because it's like you, me and you, you have never met me. We have never shaken hands. But if I was to ever meet you, I wouldn't have to shake your hand. I don't shake people's hands. I might grab your hand like this. I'm going to take this other arm. I'm going to hug you. I show love. I give love to my people. Um, I like you, man. And that little kid that replied to your video and was upset because you disrespected Hillary. This man, this young man could be on his deathbed. o'clock in the morning it wasn't Hillary making sure that his health care was taken care of it wasn't Barack making sure that nurse had training to keep his respirator machine working and it wasn't those people at AT&T who were calling him to tell him that his phone was going to be disconnected the next morning none of those people give a fuck about that kid think Hillary would if you or me were both on our deathbed do you think Hillary would care you think Barack would care you think McCain would care if I was on my deathbed and I knew you knew about it either I know the phone would ring and it would be you and I don't even know you like that. But I know, based on who I am and the people I surround myself with, that if you heard that something happened to me and you knew where I was, you would either call or try to come see me before I was done. You're good people like that. You can't tell me you're not. And I can see it a mile away. You know, 5,000 or 500 miles away. Any way you put it. Any way you put it. You've been tubed. 